the question. If a car traveling at 10 meters per second hits the brakes and skids to a stop in four meters, how far will it skid if its initial velocity is 20 meters per second? Uh -oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> fancy. Um, now, so here's the equation that we're going to use. Oh, look at this. This is fancy. All right, now, um, put these books to use. We've got to bring these in. Okay. All right. The final velocity squared equals 2AD um, plus the initial velocity squared. Now, of all, so look at the first part. Just stop and we get right to here, okay? Ugh. The car is traveling at 10 meters per second, all right? Which, what velocity is that? What do we, what do we, which one of the velocities is that? What do you think? Positive. Positive, it is. But which oh, one of these variables initial. is it? Right? Initial, right? So this is going to be 10, right? 10 meters per second. What's my final velocity, Dylan? What do you think? Uh, zero. Yes. Very good. It's zero. Zero. Luis, what's my distance? Perfect, yeah. What's the only thing we don't know in this equation? A. A. Acceleration, right? I'm going to solve for that now, okay? Each car, depending on how fast it goes, has a certain braking, has a certain deceleration. We don't use that term, we use negative acceleration, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve algebraically for A, okay? Now since F is zero, since this is zero, can I take this off of here? Yes. Yes, you can. So I'm going to do this. Zero equals 2AD plus B squared I, all right? Now I want to get A by itself, all right? I want to get A by itself. Well, what's the first thing I want to do? Well, subtract subtract v what? V Negative VI squared on both sides of the equation, right? This cancels, leaving me with negative VI squared equals 2AD. Everybody follow me there? Yep. Now what do I do? Well, divide by what? 2D. 2D, right? Remember, if they're touching, they are multiplying. multiplying. The opposite of multiplication is division. 2D, cancel, 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 cancel. What you do on one side in mathematics, you have to do on the other side in mathematics. By other side, I mean the, equi the uh, equal sign, excuse me. Now, my A is going to equal a negative VI squared all over 2D. Does it make sense that my acceleration should be negative? Yes. Because I am braking. I'm just finding acceleration here. I'm showing you a mathematical relationship. All right, so now I plug and chug. So I'm going to plug and chug. So my initial velocity is 10 meters per second squared. And that's a negative, right? Yeah. Divide by 2 times 4, right? Everybody with me on that? That's going to give me a negative 12.5 meters per second squared. That is my acceleration. All right? You're like, Mr. Smith, why are we doing this? Well, I'm going to show you a relationship mathematically. All right? So now I figured out my A in this equation right here, right? Let's imagine that A is going to remain constant. How fast a car can break will remain constant. Everybody with, admit, with me? It may not always be the case, but for our purposes here, let's do that. Now, check it out. How far, so I was going on my first one, my, my velocity was what? My velocity was 10 meters, right? Per second. How far did it take to stop? Four meters, right? Just, just bear with me. Now, it's going to say, if the initial velocity is 20, okay? If the initial velocity is 20, how far will it go? So now what do I need to solve for? D, very good. We're almost done. I'm just going to, I'm showing you something. You're not going to have to do something that's complicated on a quiz or a test. I'm showing you ones, the people that can grasp this, uh, I'm showing this, okay? Now, if you don't understand all of this, don't freak out. 
What's my final velocity is zero, right? So once again, I'm going to do negative vi squared equals 2ad. But now what am I solving for? D, right? I want to find the distance. So how do I do that? Divide by 2a on one side, divide by 2a on the other side. Cancel, 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 cancel. That's going to leave me with d equals <laughs> negative vi squared all over 2a. Now I plug and chug or replace and substitute. I'm going to do, what's my initial velocity on the second one? 20, negative 20 meters per second squared divided by 2 times negative 12.5 meters per second. Is that going to be a positive or negative number? Positive. Divide, negative divided by negative is a positive. Right? Does that make sense that my distance is going to be positive? Yeah. Right? All right, good. So now, when I do this mathematically, I'm going to get, I believe, yes. Now, here's the whole reason we did this. I'm going to show you. I could, I could have told you the answer, the, the answer to the objective, but I want to show you mathematically first. The second one, I have 20 meters per second. It took... 16 meters to stop. You ready? Here's the answer to the objective today. Describe in writing how velocity affects braking distance. If you double velocity, <coughs> braking distance quadruples. I double velocity, right? The braking distance quadruples. 4 times 4 is 16. Everybody hear that? So that's what you want to write down your notes. That's the whole reason for this mathematical equation. The whole reason I spent this time doing this. So, if I double velocity, braking distance quadruples. Okay? Do you, you're not going to have to do a problem this, this, this complicated. I promise you, okay? I just want to show you mathematically why. If I just told you this, you're like, okay, yeah, let's memorize that. But you're not really understanding. My goal for you guys is to understand when you can and then memorize only when you have to. Okay? When you memorize something, you're more likely to forget it. If you understand it, you won't forget it. Right? Because it's in your brain and logic based. Right? So don't understand, don't memorize. 